Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. I'm doing an impromptu video here on my 20 gallon high Bolivian Ram tank with uh, raspberry or actually um, Galaxy Rasboras uh, aka Celestial Pearl Danios and I've got some Lug Ludwigia Super Red uh, SP here I just planted it yesterday so um, but it's supposed to be extremely red uh, and beautiful um, and as you can see it's already red so I guess uh, just continues to grow taller and get redder. Um, I just had to completely, practically gut this tank, unfortunately. Um, the water is kind of cloudy right now. Um, this tank had a moss plant in it previously, make a long story short. And I don't think I'll ever do a moss plant in any tank again unless the tank is just for moss and I tell you moss and carpet plants like this s repens the moss got into the s repens and this used to be a nice beautiful carpet of s repens but I just basically gutted it because the moss had gotten in there in between the s repens intertwined it was growing underneath creating like massive uh, blue-green algae and it was just disgusting and um, so I had to salvage my tank and do whatever I could and then just uh, stuck a bunch of uh, Rotalia indica in the back there and um, it's a little wilty but um, that's because uh, it's been floating in the tank for about a day and a half so it needs to uh, get some water in its root system and some nutrients and then uh, I'm sure it'll be thriving again in a few days as uh, this is a pretty well established tank it's well taken care of the uh, nutrients are uh, well balanced and um, this plant um, is pretty resilient and this tank tends to thrive in general it's got some pretty decent lighting I've got a, um, uh, a Phoenix uh, 24 7 here and I've got a marine land uh, LED strip in the back uh, it's only a 20 tall so um, don't need a whole lot of light and then I've got my UV sterilizer there in the back. This this tank, it receives so much natural sunlight that um, I I just I really need a little helping hand there with that UV sterilizer. And then um, as you can see, my dwarf hair grass here is doing okay um, to not okay right here. So um, we'll see though. And then uh, this plant, I cannot for the life of me think of the name of it, but it's, a, it's an amazing plant. It should grow literally a foot tall, but it's not been doing so great. It's been growing, but it hasn't been growing upward. It's just basically been growing more uh, roots. And then I've got some uh, water Sprite, I believe that is back there. And then, um, God, I can't think of, can't for the life of me think of the name of this plant, but um, I love it. It's such a, a beautiful plant, and it's just been thriving in this tank. So, um, and then there's one of my little guys, my little Bolivian rams. He's really nice looking. He's a good fish. And then right over here is the other one of the other ones. And then over there and this cave is a third one so right now i've got three bolivian rams in here and just look at the colors 
on these fish. They are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's a cute little fish. Love these dwarf cichlids. It's funny how they're so feisty. That right there is like, um, there, there we go. Yeah, there we go. That fish right there, that celestial pearl danio is like the world's largest celestial pearl danio. I think he is literally like um, over an inch long, believe it or not. Yeah. So. I really like the Celestial Pearl Danios. They're great fish. They're beautiful. I love the colors and those little dots. Yeah, this this tank's going to look a lot better, but like I said, I just, just tore the heck out of it. Oh, I spent so much time on it, I, uh, I'm lucky I didn't get in trouble with the wife. But she's not home, so. But she may watch this video and then she'll find out. I just got myself in trouble. Oh, these guys are having a little spat over here. Yeah, it's kind of funny how these guys behave. They seem like they're so far away, and then um, one of them will just make a mad dash like halfway across the tank. <laughs> it's it's kind of humorous almost. But, um, yeah. These guys don't mess around. Look at the colors on this fish, though. It's got great colors. It's really beautiful. I love their personalities. I like the Bolivian rams, I think. Um, I mean, I like my uh, epistogrammas, but I really like my Bolivian rams as well. They're great dwarf cichlids in general. Um, and then there's my other Bolivian ram, the third one. Hello. I don't know what I've got going on here, like if I've got a male and a female or three males or what the deal is I want to say he this is, is definitely a male due to the color need to do a little bit more research in order to make a better assessment in terms of male and female. But look at the color here of these uh, celestials. This video is starting to run pretty long, so but uh, I really like this tank, so kind of got carried away. Well, thanks for tuning in, everybody, and until next time.